This is awkward. <laughs> Somebody let me out. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Stray of Seasons, Tree of Towns. It looks like Stephanie is coming to talk to us about a different festival. I thought the cooking festival was in the fall. Is it in summer? Good morning. Today I'm here to tell you all about the cooking exhibition. As I'm sure you've guessed, the cooking exhibition is an event all about competing to make the best dishes. Every year we hold the event on summer 22nd and winter 22nd. If you want to participate, come talk to me between 10 and 1. I'll be over at the crossing. By the way, the cooking exhibition also has specific themes, but... There is no beginner class theme. Anything goes. You'll be making the dish right there at the festival, so don't forget to bring the ingredients. Oh, that's new. Oh, there are also two different competitions at the cooking exhibition. You can compete with single dishes or full courses. If you have a lot of ingredients to spare, I recommend trying your hand at a full course. That's all for my explanation. I eagerly await your participation. I feel like we could have just gotten letters. <laughs> I don't really feel like we need that fanfare. So that's on the 22nd. We'll probably be entering a single dish. For this one, maybe in winter we'll be ready for the full course meal. But something's happening. Oh, we're going to learn about Street Pass. <laughs> okay. Pan, pack a pan. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. By the by, word on the wind is that you have adopted a pet recently. Yeah. I would love to meet it. Can I please? Pretty please. Oh, how adorable. Hello there. What a little darling you are. You know, I'm sure this sweetie pie would just love to go and visit your friends and other farmers. If you enable Street Pass and register your pet, you can send it on walks to visit other farmers. They'll be a little furry diplomat to another farmer's town. Oh, but if you decide to enable Street Pass, there are a few things you should probably be aware of first. Yeah, everything, do yeah, don't type boobies, we got it. <laughs> uh, the thing is, I never really take my uh, 3DSs with the capture card with me anywhere because... Uh, I don't want anything to happen to them, because that would obviously be not good. Uh, if I take a 3DS with me, it's the one that I use normally, which is a new 3DS. So I don't really street pass with people using this 3DS. So... Probably not really going to be doing that. So you guys said in the comments that Inari only really cares about the foxes, so you don't actually have to... Worry about trying to befriend all the animals if you're interested in romancing Inari. Um, just the foxes. And they really like walnuts. So, I try to give them walnuts if I remember. So, we're going to go up to Suyakuza Town because... Oh, man, it's raining and dark here. Uh, because we need to go... Oh, there's a frog. We need to go to the hair salon for sure. Because we haven't been there yet. And I know a lot of you guys are excited to see the different hairdos, and I am too. So we're going to head up this way. Oh, there's Kamari. Okay, so here is the hair salon. She is... I don't think she's quite under that awning. I think she might be getting rained on. Ah, so you're the new face. Nice to meet you. This is Sharaka, the hair salon. I'm the owner. Sharaka. Easy to remember, right? I went to a far-off place to train under a famous beautician and just got back yesterday. I'll be opening up shop from today onward, so I'm looking forward to your patronage. For a price, I'll change your hair color or style. Yep, let's do it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
Okay, so we have 10 styles here. Actually, not even 10, because this is the one we already have, so that's kind of lame. So we have farm boy style, simple short, crop cut, messy short, spiked, short bob, medium straight, cool long, ponytail, and that. Okay, these are all rather disappointing. Can I see them before I buy them? Okay, turn. Turn around. Oh, uh, this is not... Uh. Yikes. No. Um... Wow, I, I really don't like any of these, actually. <laughs> I guess I'll go with the ponytail for right now. People have said that you can unlock other ones. I don't know exactly how to do that. But uh, hopefully we'll get some other ones, because thus far I am not impressed, especially for for uh, 2000G. Um, I'm assuming all the colors are the same. Yeah. So, you could also change the color if you wanted. But... Uh, I wouldn't call it brilliant. I mean, it's ponytail. <laughs> well, that was really anticlimactic. I thought that was going to be better. <laughs> We'll just have to wait until we unlock some other ones. I hope there's, like, more interesting ones that you can unlock. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, you sell cooking stuff, which I don't really need. There's there's Hinata. What do you sell? Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get... Wow, they're expensive. Two of those, and he also sells a bunch of fertilizer. Hmm. Okay. No, but since you're standing there, I'm gonna just uh, sneak back here. Which they don't seem to, to mind if I do that. Here. Have this. Does she have new clothes? I thought that I saw that she did. But I could be wrong. Nope. Just these two. Okay. So I think that's all we really need. From here. So I managed to get some rubies uh, from mining, thankfully. So we now have enough to upgrade the effectiveness of our hammer again. Which is awesome. So we have it uh, more than halfway. For effectiveness, anyway, not for weight, but still pretty great. What do we need? We need fluorite and adamantite. Uh, so we haven't come across that yet, have we? Oh, I guess I have. Okay. So we only need two more of each of those, which is good. Uh, we need a lot of uh, materials for making it lighter, but, you know, I really can't complain. So I'm going to try this hammer and see if it will let me mine at the last location or if I need to upgrade it once more. We'll check it out. All right, so here we are at the last mine location in West Town. So I'm going to see. And it looks like it works. So that is pretty awesome. We can mine here now. Let's see what we got. Some adamantite, which we needed. Moonstone. Was that moon something? Yeah, we got some amethyst, some platinum, all good stuff. We did get moonstone. So, I'll have to, like, put this in the storage bin. I have too much crap <laughs> from mining in my bag. All right, so I'm going to plant these watermelon seeds and these sunflower seeds. Since we just got them. Hopefully the watermelons will sell for a decent amount because they the seeds were super expensive. <laughs> but I figure since I have so much fodder, I don't really need to worry about um, planting grass to cut for fodder. So 
I figured I would just kind of focus on crops. So that is what I'm going to do. I'll probably have to start getting more fodder maybe in fall or winter, but because I think it's I think the grass will still grow in winter, if I remember from the original story of seasons. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Okay, so something else is happening about the tailor. So sorry to bother you this early, dear, but I heard you renovated your house and have a closet now. Which means you now have a place to store your outfits. But I'd wager it's awfully empty as of now, no? So I thought I'd stop by and explain how to make new outfits. Do you have a few minutes to spare? Lovely. Now then, could I ask you to come with me to the ramen's clothing counter? Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm sure you must have been here before, but let me give you the tour again. This is the ramen's clothing counter, where you can have clothing and headgear made for yourself. To do so, you will, of course, be required to pay a fee, but there's one more requirement. You'll need cloth such as this. This is white cloth that was made from wool. Here you are, all yours. Consider it a housewarming gift. Ooh. Is it how much is it one piece? Even with just that much, you should still be able to make some simple work outfits. If you find yourself bored with wearing the same old thing, try your hand at making something new. Oh, and remember, Ramen's isn't the only place that does tailoring. Both West Town's general store and Lulu Coco's Jack of All Trades shop offer similar services. Yeah, except the one in West Town has ugly clothes. <laughs> If you're going to be making cloth for yourself from now on, there are a few things you should know. Let me explain it to you one step at a time. First, do you have any sheep? No. Once you have a sheep, you can periodically shear them to get wool. Once you have the wool, you place it in certain flowers or ores with the color you want into a textile mill. Then out comes a bolt of dyed cloth. But a word of warning to you, dear. Even if you have the wool, if you don't have a textile mill, you can't weave any cloth. I believe the Jack of All Trades in Lulu Coco sells them. And as your bonds with West Town deepen, they might start selling cloth in their stores. Hmm. Well... Oh, it takes a whole day to make something? Well then. It'll probably be a while before we get a textile mill because we gotta make another barn to get a sheep and then you gotta get the sheep and then you gotta get the clippers for the sheep and then you gotta shear the sheep and it's a whole, it's a whole process. So we're probably not gonna be getting that for a little while. All right, uh, Hinata's birthday is on the 11th. I don't wanna forget that. So it'll probably be a little while before we get to have fun with making clothes. She did give me five pieces of white cloth, though, so that means I can make another outfit, which I'm definitely going to be doing. So, oop. Mail. There's new hairstyles. Ooh. If, if there's a better hairstyle there today, I'm going to be so angry <laughs> after I just paid for to get my hair done yesterday. All right, and Ludus has new stuff. He might have new clothes. All right, so we need to, I gotta try to keep all this straight. We need to go to Ludus' shop and check that out. Cause I wanna see if he has new clothes. Um, Cause I only have five strips of cloth, so I don't want to waste them. So we wanna do that. And we wanna check out the new hairstyles. So, I should probably also do some part-time jobs. I've been slacking a little bit on them. So I think I'll do that as well, especially because uh, we need to really work on our town link ranks. They're not doing great. They'll definitely increase after we do some festivals in the other towns, but like West Town, we're doing pretty well on. 
uh, and Lulu Coco is not very great, and then Suyakuza is, like, awful. <laughs> so, I mean, granted, uh, Suyakuza has only been unlocked for a couple days, but still, I want to... I think that's important to do, because it unlocks new stuff for us, so I want to try to get that done as quickly as possible. Um, so I think... I think to, when you know that the tomatoes are done is when you can't water them anymore. I think that's what someone said in the comments. So I think they're still going. I think it might take like five days or something. Um, so I'm still waiting to pick them because I want to get the most off the vine that I can. So that's why I'm waiting. Okay, so one of you guys in the comments keeps saying to show Saluka a turtle. Okay, you're closed, that's great. <laughs> I really wish they didn't jump to a cutscene for that, like I, it's not necessary. Also, it made the turtle vanish. What happened to the turtle? Also, I brought Frankie because I can. <laughs> now I gotta go get the turtle again. Oh, pick that up. But seriously, like, the turtle vanished. But uh, someone said to show the turtle to Saluka. I hope she doesn't like hate it. <laughs> um. I hope she actually likes it, but we'll find out. No, don't set it down. Here, it's Luca. Turtles have such pretty shells. I'm jealous. If I had a shell, I could lie down and take a nap anywhere I wanted. Hmm. Was it Siluca or Iluca I was supposed to show the turtle to? I thought it was Siluca. I guess she liked it. It's kind of hard to judge her reactions to things. She's pretty relaxed. Ludus, do you like my puppy? No? You just want to talk about materials? <laughs> okay, then. So he doesn't have any new clothes here. Hmm. So it must be new farm circles, maybe? Man, that textile mill, it's expensive. I don't know, I thought it said that he had new stuff. I can't go inside when I have my dog with me? Really? Can I send him home or something? That's lame. So now I have to take him all the way back before I can go in there. <laughs> no, I didn't want to talk to you. Oh, the hairstyle lady's over here. Alright, what do you have? Let's see. Double buns. Hmm. Um... No, I think I'm just gonna stick with mine. I don't know how I unlocked that. I don't know if I unlocked it just from using hairstylist once. I'm not sure. But uh, I think there's a decent number that you can unlock. So we'll have to work on that. Oh, she likes... She really likes uh, dachshunds, apparently. Komari, so if you have one and you're trying to become friends with her or romance her, there you go. I thought I'd have to actually pick him up and show him to her, but I guess not. Okay, well now that I don't have my dog anymore, I can go inside, even though they have a cat in here. Uh, okay, so I wanted to talk to her. Hmm... I kind of like this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna have her make that. So it'll be ready tomorrow. So then we'll be able to get rid of this ugly getup that we've had on for a while. I wanna make sure that I give Hinata some Hydrania.
eventually we'll get him to a purple heart. It'll take a little bit. Ludus is still at a purple heart, which is frustrating. I'm trying, but he's stubborn. Okay, so we are going to pick up our clothes. So, read cape or received, you'll find it in your closet. Cool. So, we're definitely going to be changing then. Alright. So, here's the closet. And, here's our new outfit. I have a cape, and that is what is important. Awesome. I feel like I'm in Avatar The Last Airbender now. So much nicer than my other outfit. Cool. Okay. Now I'm ready to take on the day. Oh, well, it looks like Wayne is eating. Maybe we could join him? If you don't mind, Omelette, you're welcome to come sit and eat with me if you want. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Wayne. Great. Food never tastes as good when you eat by yourself. I'm glad I got someone to chat with now. Because we already had dinner with Ford, so... Or lunch, I guess. So, let's have lunch with Wayne this time. Just have a chat. That looks like a pretty beefy omelette. Hey, uh, Kita, do I really look like that much of a flirt to you? I'm just trying to be a proper gentleman like my granddad taught me. But other people don't really see it that way. I think that... I think there's more to Wayne than he seems on the outside. Like, I don't think he's intentionally trying to be this, like, smooth guy. I think he just sees it as being polite. Here. Does eating with, uh... People increase their friendship? Does anybody know that? Or, like, have an effect on your town link rank or anything like that. Whoa. This omelette made me, like, really fast. Little known fact. <laughs> eating an omelette makes you so fast. <laughs> Holy crap. That is nuts. Hey, Ford, what's up? I have some mint for you. I'm just, like, waiting for the dark blue flower. Ford. Ford. Ah! Ford! I didn't say that. I didn't say they were too expensive. Something's happening! The Three Childhood Friends Part 1. So this is Ludus's first friendship event. We finally triggered it. So it looks like he's making something. Hey, Kido. Oh, this? Iluka asked me to make some repairs to her accessory case. Apparently a hole opened up in it somehow. I just finished it up, actually. Come on, sit down. Since you came and all, I'll go grab some tea. I'll take a break and we can chat for a bit. Heck yes. That kind of looks like jello. <laughs> Not tea. I'm a jack-of-all-trades, so I'll do just about any job, really. I normally fix stuff like a Luca's accessory case or build houses. Sometimes I get jobs like, talk to the old lady or take the dog for a walk. I feel you playing RPGs. It's the same thing, man. Well, regardless of what the job is, they're all fun in their own way. Speaking of, if there's ever anything you need help with, just ask me, yeah? I'll be there in a flash. What a nice man. Ludus, did you fix my accessory case? Yeah, it's all done. Here you go. Mahalo. Here, I need you to fix this, too. What is it? Trash can? This bucket is leaky. Could you seal it up? Oh, angry spaghetti. Well, yeah, I could, but... Sorry, but could you wait a sec? I'm going to be using a hammer, so I have to run to my room to fix it real quick. 
That's okay. I'll just enjoy my tea jello. It's rare seeing you and Ludus together. Oh, well, you have not been seeing me. Yeah, what are you doing here? Chillin'? <laughs> you came to see Ludus? Wow, you must really have some free time on your hands. Always looking so serious. I figured that outside of the two of us, he didn't have any friends his age. Eluka, hey, didn't we say we wouldn't bring that up? After all, we don't have any other friends either. This is awkward. <laughs> Somebody let me out. Okay, I'm done. Here you go, good as new. Great, thanks. Next up is the bed in our house. It's been annoyingly creaky lately. What have you been doing in it? Boy, you sure know how to run a guy ragged. Okay, so you want to say, this is asking a little too much. Because if you say, this is great, ask him for more, he gets upset. <laughs> and you lose friendship points. But again, I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious. But... Mahalo, Kita. Warms my heart to hear you say that. People don't usually stand up for me like that. Well, Iluka's always been pretty selfish. One time, her selfishness caused the three of us to get in a wreck at sea. Um. Wait a second, Siluka. What are you doing bringing that up? Hmm? I'm not going to forgive you just because you decided to try and be cute about it. There are some things that people just shouldn't say. Ah, uh, this got even more awkward. All right, all right. I get it. You know what, Ludus? You can fix the bed some other time. I don't really care anymore. Oh, okay. See you tomorrow. Let's go home, Saluka. Okay. Sorry about all that. It's okay. About the wreck. Eluka still feels bad about the whole thing. Anytime someone brings it up, she gets all sullen like that. Well, I'm sure eventually the time will come when she'll tell you about it. For now, just leave her be, yeah? Thanks. You know, I get the feeling we'll get along just fine, you and me. Hmm. Other than me and the twins, there's never really been anyone our age around here. So, it's sure been nice having you around. Oh, Ludus. I don't know where he is now, because I wanted to check and see if his heart jumped up to light blue or not. Oh, here he is, down at the beach. Nope, he's still purple. And he caught a boot. I'm sorry about that, Ludus. How about some bamboo? Would bamboo change your mind? Here you go. Nope. He is a stubborn, stubborn man. Well... I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share support. Really helps me out. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this series in the comments. Appreciate that. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.